Sometimes our English students are angry about how we teach listening. Anna, for example, hated the underuse of listening materials in the classroom. She was frustrated about being given three silly comprehension questions and then told by her teacher, the rest doesn't matter. Let's find out how students can reduce their anger and get more out of listening materials found online. Hi, I'm Damien Herlihy, one of Pavilion ELT's vloggers. In this series, we've been focusing on the internet as a virtual textbook for our students to practice English at home. This episode, we're going to be looking at how students can add some listening decoding practice to their study routines. By the end of this episode, you're going to have a good understanding of how to use an online tool called Tube Quizard. This tool is great for listening decoding practice at home. Before we get into this tool, I want to discuss some of Richard Caldwell's listening metaphors. These ideas come from his book, A Syllabus for Listening, Decoding. If you want to find out more about this book, then check out the review at English Teaching Professional. Moving on, Caldwell believes the sound substance of speech falls into three domains. The greenhouse, the garden and the jungle. In the greenhouse, words are placed in their own separate pots. This is called the citation form of a word, and they're not influenced by other words around them. You'll find examples of the citation form when you listen to the audio of a word in an online dictionary. For example, what are you doing today? The sentences in the garden are like the kind of audio dialogues you find in English course books. Words start joining together, but in a nice orderly way. They follow the clear rules of connected speech, much like a well-organized garden bed. Let's hear what it sounds like. What are you doing today? Welcome to the jungle. This is the speech you hear outside of the classroom where everything is unruly and messy. It's very hard at times to hear where one word begins and another word ends. For students, all this can seem a bit random. Have a listen to this example. What are you doing today? Students are often comfortable listening to the greenhouse or the garden, but not so much with the jungle. So how do we help our students become used to the jungle? Well, over the last few years, more and more online tools have come out which can help our students sensitize their ears to the jungle. One of these tools is Tube Quizard. This tool automatically creates gap-filled quizzes from YouTube. Caldwell, in his book, recommends this tool as a great way for students to practice their decoding skills outside of the classroom. After working on a video in class, this would be a great tool for then students to continue analysing that video for decoding practice at home. Okay, let's see what this tool can do. This is a homepage of Tube Quizard. The most useful filters are level, based on the European framework, and type, which includes grammar for listening, pronunciation for listening, vocabulary in context, grammar in context, and spelling. For the purpose of this video, we'll be focusing on pronunciation for listening. Okay, let's jump in and see what the tool can do. I like to use the train with your video option at the top of the page. This allows you to give your students a specific video to train with at home. A quick tip though, make sure you check the subtitles first. If the subtitles are inaccurate, it'll affect the quality of the gap fields. 
After you input the link, the tool will generate a range of quizzes based on the types mentioned earlier. If we scroll down, you'll see the pronunciation for listeners type provides great practice in decoding. It looks at things like high frequency word clusters or chunks, disappearing sounds and linking between words. Let's focus on the difficult three word chunks and practice our decoding skills together. This type of quiz gives students practice in decoding difficult to catch chunks. We'll do three examples together. So grab a pencil and paper. I'll play the video three times and you write down what you hear. After each example, I describe what I heard and don't worry if your interpretation isn't the same because in the jungle, often people can hear different things. All right, let's get started. Of it, except that the shop was actually a gun shop where they sell firearms, and so uh, they had a lot of security. And um, thing of it, except that the shop was actually a gun shop where they sell firearms, and so uh, they had a lot of security. And um, thing of it, except that the shop was actually a gun shop where they sell firearms and so uh, they had a lot of security and um... What did you hear? I heard the t sound change to an unaspirated d and then of got squeezed down to the schwa sound uh, and that linked up to lod to become lodda then we end up with a lodda because their husband, were they married? I don't know. Because their husband, were they married? I don't know. Because their husband, were they married? I don't know. This one was a bit tricky. Something you need to be careful with is hearing sounds that aren't there. If you're an expert listener, your brain is often automatically filling in the gaps. So try to bring a beginner's ear to the whole process. To begin with, I thought there was a t sound at the end of don't, but I don't think it was there. So I settled on don't being reduced to d, the t dropping out, and then n mm as well, because the next word starts with n mm in no. So it comes up with, I don't know. Breaking in there. And it was quite a surreal uh, experience. Breaking in there. Um, and it was quite a surreal uh, experience. Uh, police are breaking in there. Um, and it was quite a surreal uh, experience. Uh, police everywhere. In this example, you have the very weak form of and, which is un. Un then links up to it, which becomes un. And finally, you have the weak form of was, which is was. So you get, and it was, and it was. So I believe if students do a lot of explicit decoding practice at home, it'll translate to improving their listening in real life conversations. What do you think about Tube Quizard? Join the conversation below. Do you think it might reduce students' frustrations with listening in English? Also, remember to subscribe, like and share and keep up to date with all of Pavilion ELT's future videos. Next time, I'll be focusing on the skill of speaking. See you later.